Let's continue our introduction to Solaris and Karma by taking a look at proxies. So this series going forward is going to be less about building a project and more just kind of one-off videos. Things that I didn't cover in the part of the series where we built a full scene, but stuff that's still pretty important to understand how to do in either Solaris or Karma. In this case, we're going to be taking a look at proxies, which is actually a topic that I've covered before, but there was some confusion about that, so I kind of want to cover it again as it's part of uh, an important part of this series as well as because there was some confusion before. And I think a lot of that confusion came down to people maybe not understanding fully what a proxy is. And I want to just cover that first because you need to understand that before you really start to make proxies and use them. So a proxy is simply any geometry that is used to represent another geometry in the viewport. And then that geometry is swapped out at render time. Now, typically this is just a lower res um, geometry of your actual final geometry, but it's not necessarily always the case. Sometimes people will use point clouds to represent them. And you'll also see people using bounding boxes to really save on viewport performance. But a lot of times it is also just a lower resolution mesh of your final resolution. So now that we kind of understand that, let's start to build some of this out. So we'll jump into our stop create here and I'm just gonna drop down a test geometry. We'll use our rubber toy here and we don't need the shader for this. So let's go ahead and just reduce that down. We'll use that as our, as our proxy geometry. So we'll drop down a poly reduce. And we can wire this in here. And maybe we'll drop this down to like 20% or so. That gives us a nice lower resolution geometry. And then just to demonstrate this, I'm going to move this over. Now, normally you wouldn't do this, so skip this part, but I'm going to move this over just so that we can see our two geometries side by side. And then we also are going to need a name attribute. So we'll wire this in here. And in this name attribute, I'm just going to set it under a new X form for called G, uh, Geo. And then we'll name one render and then we'll make a copy of this and we'll name this one proxy. And then we can merge these back together. And we can jump back up to our stage context now. And you see that we have our two geometries. So one clearly lower resolution than the final render. And we have these two geometries underneath our geo X form here. So we have a proxy and we have a render geometry. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have this purpose. So by this says by default, it is default. And for our proxy, it also says that it is, is default. So if we drop down something called the component builder, this is a set of nodes that be that are created once you drop that down. And these are basically used to just set up things for the component gallery. This is kind of how the, or, uh, the asset library, sorry, not the component library, the asset library, the side effects uh, gave us. So this node just sets everything up super easily and nicely for you. So let's just dive into this and we can see that we have a couple of different things. So this first output is going to be your render geometry. The second one would be your proxy. So let's just drop down a sphere just so that we can see what's going on here. So in this component gallery, we have, we select this. We have a couple of different things that are set up down here. We have a scope for our proxy and our render geometry. And if I go ahead and click on these, we see we still have this purpose attribute. And you can see that this actually says proxy. And then this render one says render. So we can use this attribute to actually specify what we want our geometries to be used for or their purpose, what purpose they're going to be used for. So if we jump back into our stop create here, we can drop down an attribute create, can wire this in and let's go ahead and just call this purpose. And we'll make sure that this is a primitive and we'll set this to a string as well. And for this first one, I'm going to call this render. And the second one, we'll call this one proxy. 
If I jump back up now, we can come over to this import from SOPS, come down to this import data, and check this USD custom attributes, and just make sure that we set that purpose in here. Now, sometimes when you do this, you're gonna see both objects are still in your scene. You can come up to this little icon here, click and hold, and you can see that we have some different options here. We have the ability to look at both of our render and our proxy geometry, or we can uncheck that render or if we just want to see what our render geometry is going to look like, we can select that if we want as well. Let's go ahead and set that back to proxy. And we can go ahead and toggle on our Karma XPU now. And you're going to see that we have our geometry swap out here. So our proxy geometry that was over here, that our low res representation is now gone and our render geometry is now displaying. I can go ahead and turn that back off and you can see that they swap back out. So that's kind of the basics of it. But again, you can use anything basically to represent your geometry or to function as your proxy. As I said before, a lot of times it's going to be just a reduced geometry of your final geometry. Sometimes it'll be a point cloud or a bounding box. So we could drop down a bound. You can wire that in and just come over to our transform. Let's actually just, just uh, bypass that transform node now. And you can see now we have our, our box here, our bounding box. Once we toggle on again, that just swaps out for our final render geometry. And you could set this up so that you have, you know, multiple options for what you want to be used for your, um, your proxy geometry. So you can have different levels of detail for saving viewport performance if you really need that. You could set something up like a null that's able to kind of swap between them all and give you some different things. So that's something that's a little bit more on the technical side, I guess, uh, but it is definitely something that you could do if you're needing that extra level of control for your, your scenes. So anyways, hopefully this has helped you out and starts to show what uh, proxies are used for and kind of clears up any confusion from uh, the last video if you watched that one. So just remember proxy again is just a any geometry that is used to represent another geometry that then gets swapped out at render time. So it doesn't have to necessarily look like the geometry for your final render, but a lot of times that's what you're going to want to use just so you get an idea of what your scene is going to look like and you don't have any kind of guesswork as far as what things are in your scene. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, this project will be available on Patreon. So if you want to grab it, you can do so on there, along with a bunch of other things from my channel. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.